Today we're going to be taking a look at the Casper original bed and seeing how it compares to Casper's top tier option, the Wave Hybrid. Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumber Yard, and I know what you're thinking, man, the beard is getting out of control, and I'm sorry. I've got a Santa Claus audition coming up later this month, and I hope I make the cut, you know, fingers crossed. But in this video, we're just going to be comparing these two beds, kind of giving you the general scoop on them so you don't really have to buy them for yourself and figure it out. We're going to start off by covering the policies that these beds are backed by, then we're going to talk about the similarities between them. We'll dive into the differences. We'll talk about feel, firmness, pricing, of course. And at the very end, I'll even sum things up with a final verdict for you. So stick around. Now, just in case you need any more information once we reach the end of this video, check down below in the description to see our full written reviews of these beds, other comparisons with them, and discount codes to help save you some money on them. If you find this video helpful at all towards your online mattress search, we would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on this video and consider subscribing to The Yard for so much more great stuff like this. Right, Wes? Yeah! Woo! Let's get to it though. At the slumber yard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you and save you money on it. Alrighty, so depending on when this video comes out, I could have either made the cut or not for, you know, the new mall Santa Claus, but you know, I could be either really, you know, happy or just downright devastated, but you won't know until next year. But nevertheless, it's mattress time. This is a mattress comparison after all, not some weird beard competition. So let's cover policies. And before I get into Casper's general policy stuff, I do want to mention that we did receive both of these Casper beds for free from Casper to review and tell you guys about them. But at bare minimum, you should be getting completely free bed in a box shipping with both. This basically means that the mattresses are going to arrive at your door stuffed inside of a box that's around like four feet tall. They're going to be wrapped up up in plastic packaging. And all you gotta do is just drag that box into your home and unpackage your brand new bed, which is relatively easy and kind of fun to do altogether. Once the beds are in your possession, you also get a trial period of 100 full nights with both. And this is basically your time to see if either the Wave Hybrid or the Casper Original are gonna be right for you and your sleep setup. And if they're not, for whatever reason, you do have the option of getting completely free returns within that trial period timeframe. Though Casper as a brand does ask you to try their mattresses out for at least 30 full nights before making your final decision on them. Now, in the case you do decide to keep them, which I think should be the case for most folks out there, you know, Casper is a really reputable brand that, you know, people really love and trust. Otherwise they wouldn't be able to offer these kind of policies. And if that's the case, these beds are both backed by 10 year warranties. That's pretty much the standard for the online mattress space. And if you need any more information about Casper's policy stuff, the liner notes and details, check down below in the description for a lot of helpful links related to all that stuff. Now with all the policy stuff out of the way, let's talk about the commonalities between the two. And there's a couple things here, mainly to do with feel and firmness. So both feature more of a soft neutral foam feel that should work for just about anyone, even though both do use layers of memory foam in their constructions. Since they're both used as transitional layers in the beds, they should just help to give them each a bit of pressure relief overall. While their top layer is a perforated airscape foam, which is basically kind of a breathable open cell comfort foam on top, just help them to feel more soft and neutral overall and a little bit more breathable than your average bed in a box. Both are also right around a medium in terms of overall firmness level, so they should work out for any and all sleeper types, whether you like to sleep on your back, your side, your stomach, or a combination of the three at night, you should be pretty much good to go with either. And in general, if you're just kind of unsure as to what type of firmness level you ultimately prefer, getting a bed with a medium firmness level is always just a safe choice. Let's talk construction. This is one of the main differences between the Casper Wave Hybrid and the Casper Original mattress. The Casper Original is an all foam bed, which means it'll probably work out best for medium and petite sized folks at the end of the day. You know, if you're heavier, you should probably look into a hybrid bed as opposed to an all foam one, just because the coils should offer you a little bit more long-term support and durability. If you're a little bit heavier, you can totally get by on an all foam bed just fine. It's just not gonna offer you that same level of support as a hybrid bed can, which is in fact what Casper Wave is. So this bed does use a layer of pocketed coils on the bottom instead of dense foam. So it should work out for all body types just fine. And it should be the more suitable option overall for heavier individuals, especially much heavier people. Now going along with construction elements, another main difference 
between these two has to do with their zone support features. Both of these beds are designed to be a little bit firmer in the middle to provide your lower back and trunk with a little bit more nightly support while offering the other areas of your body a little bit more pressure relief. You might not even notice that these zone support features are even there when you first go to hop on these Casper mattresses, but they could help you over the long run if you suffer from something like chronic back pain. On the Casper original, that zone support feature can be found within its middle transitional layer of memory foam. It's actually divided into three separate sections. And the Wave Hybrid has a much more pronounced version of this zone support that they dub Zone Support Max, where they actually incorporate little cutouts in the foams and even include little gel pods for even more targeted support. We'll try to link some more helpful details and content concerning all this stuff down below in the description box if you're interested in checking that stuff out. Now, Casper as a brand also offers some other models for you to choose from that are definitely worth your consideration as well. They also have the Element Pro, which is a newer budget-friendly offering from the brand. They have the Casper Original Hybrid, which basically swaps that support layer out for pocketed coils instead of dense foam. It'll basically feel just like the Casper Original, just with coils. And then they have the Casper Nova Hybrid, which is just basically a softer hybrid bed designed specifically for side sleepers. And we've done a ton of reviews and other content on all of the Casper mattresses. And we'll try to link all that stuff down below in the description, at least a little bit of it. But now it's that point in the video to go over pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for the Casper Original and the Wave Hybrid, of course. And before I go into this section, I do wanna preface it by saying that online bed in a box pricing does change frequently and we're constantly looking to see whatever's current. You know, it changes a lot. So if you wanna see whatever is current as of when you're watching this video, be sure to check down below in the description box. You know, we keep our pricing pretty much up to date over here at the Slumberyard. But as of when I'm recording this video, you can probably expect to pick up a queen size Casper Original for right around the $1150 mark after discount, maybe a little bit upwards of that. And in terms of the Casper Wave Hybrid, it's currently going for right around the $1950 mark after discount, at least for the queen size. Again, this pricing could change in the near future, so just keep your eyes peeled and check in the description to see whatever's current. They sometimes like to bundle in gifts with their mattress purchases and offer you know sweeter deals at certain times of the year, usually around major holidays. So again, check the description. And for the record, if you do use those discounts that are linked in our description boxes. It helps to support our channel, which we really appreciate, but that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this comparison. You know, I think either way you go here, you're getting a solid choice from a reputable brand. I think it just kind of depends on the features that you want in your next mattress, but let's just give you a final verdict. Over here at the Slumberyard, we would say check out the Wave Hybrid from Casper if you want the most premium bed that the brand currently offers with a super targeted zone support design that should be accommodating for all sleeper types. And then look into the Casper Original, if you're just looking for a safe all foam pick for all sleepers with a neutral foam feel that's right around a medium, and you also want the more affordable option after a discount. But hey, that's just our take on it. What is yours? When it comes down to it, why do you think they called it the Casper Wave Hybrid? Does it have to do with all their waves in the bed? Is the bed a water bed? Who knows? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Of course, I'm kidding. It's not a waterbed, right, Wes? Right, you. If you enjoyed this video, you found it somewhat entertaining and you you know, found it helpful, at least towards your online mattress search, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up on this video. Consider subscribing to the Slumberyard for so much more and check down below in the description for a lot of helpful links. But that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this one. Again, I'm JD. That's Wes behind the camera. Hey, sleep right, sleep tight. We'll see you next time. Subscribe.